Today we continue our series, and today's title is Feeding Christ as We Eat. For this meditation, I would like to turn our awareness to something very concrete, our eating. Three or more times a day, we take nourishment into ourselves. We can be totally oblivious to the gift of our food and our interconnection and interdependence with all of life and our interconnection with the earth and all of the cosmos through our food. When we stuff our food down, trying to fill an emptiness in ourselves, we are oblivious to its gift. We are behaving abusively toward the rest of this planet that is given of itself to us. When we rhapsodize about special delectations and develop a haughty culture of high cuisine, we are missing the gift. When we allow our negative feelings and obsessive thoughts to invade the meal, we also become oblivious to the gift of food because we are not aware and joy of what we are eating. Eating can be an act of deep acceptance of ourselves as bodily creatures. This is humility. Eating can also be a recognition of our dependency on the life of this planet. This too is humility. When we eat even the simplest meal, we take into ourselves the sun, the rain, the soil, green shimmering leaves, and glowing clouds. And because our union with Christ is not merely a mental, ethical, or emotional reality, but is based in the transfusion of our physical bodies by his risen glory, when we eat, we are integrating the whole planet's mineral, vegetable, and animal life into the risen body with us. We can also experience eating as the tender loving of God for us, a foretaste of the love that will raise us and transform bodies at the resurrection. All of this is being offered as we sit down to raisin bran or a casserole or an egg. Think of how, when we eat a tuna casserole, we are taking the whole salty life of the oceans into ourselves in the tuna. And the whole life of the ocean is made over to Christ through us. And how, through the life of the ocean, its huge waves and teeming schools of fish, God is tenderly loving and supporting us in our bodily life. This is a marvelous thing. We can make a happy, pleasurable meditation at every meal to help us eat in the marvelous mystery of love and care that food is. We can begin the meal with our now familiar phrase, Breathing in, I invite your calm into my body. Breathing out, I smile. This will call us back from our thoughts to be truly present to the gift of food we are about to eat. We can even put our fork down if we find ourselves distracted and return to the present moment with our familiar prayer. Then, as we eat, we can pay attention to the fact we are eating and say inwardly, chewing, I taste the goodness of God, swallowing, I feel and feed the life of Christ in me. May you have a blessed day. May you have peace at your meal. And may you remember the connection and the circle that God provides for us in the rising, living, dying, and rising again known on planet Earth and embodied by eating.